I thought I'd record a quick tutorial about how to use ClickUp's custom fields with make.com to do an automation. And I recently finished a project for a client where you can see here, what we did was when a record was set to approved in one workspace, we wanted to duplicate it to another workspace and then kick off a bunch of automations. Essentially it's for client onboarding. So you can see here, what I had to do, I'm not gonna talk through everything. I'm just gonna show the flow and then talk about the custom field specifically. What we were doing here was watching for tasks, watching for when it gets moved into approve. Then we had to get the task. We wanted to create a folder. So I had to first look up if the folder already existed. If the folder existed, I did one thing. I wasn't gonna create another folder. I was just creating a task based on a template. If the folder didn't exist, then I create a new folder and I go down that path. And then also I created Google Slides and a Google Sheet because it was part of their reporting process. But what I needed to do was I needed to copy across a lot of label fields. So they had a lot of fields where there was multi options they could select. Basically they're running ads for people and we could select banner format, what type of campaign it was, which uh, places the campaign was gonna be run, things like that. And that's what I needed to copy. So you can see here, what step I needed to use is edit a task with custom fields advanced. So I'm gonna open this up and then just show you what that setup looked like. Cause you have to work with the IDs for the custom fields, which you have to get from the API, which also I'm gonna show you how to get that. You can see here, for example, I've scrolled down and I've just got the custom fields option open for this advanced edit custom fields option in, in make.com. And you can see here, I have to use a custom field ID. So this is a direct connection to one of the custom fields. And I select the type that the field is. I know it's a text field. I know it's a, a label field. I'll show you the label field. And then I can add in the values I need. Where it gets tricky though, I'll keep scrolling for a bit, is these label field types. So you can see here, I obviously got the custom field ID. I have the label and I needed to copy across all of the items. So what I had to do here in that case is in the previous step where I get the task, I know that the journal is a list of journal items. So what I do is I just add that full array and it actually copy across as all the values. So where do I actually get these IDs from? I quickly jumped over into another make automation I set up. So all you need to do is you add a ClickUp um, step that's called list or accessible custom fields. And when you run that, it's going to give you back this answer here. So you can see here, these are all of the custom field IDs. And also I know the type label, text, etc. So that's where I got those custom field IDs from. So if you need help automating these types of processes in your business, if you're using ClickUp, for example, make.com, for example, I just helped this business owner automate their onboarding process and also automate their reporting process, which a team member was having to do manually. And now they can take on a lot more clients and that team member can focus on other important things in the business. That's also going to help the business grow.